media outlets must help stabilize the economy, growth, employment, stabilize foreign trade, investment, finance, stabilize the stock market, the foreign exchange market, the housing market, and basically stabilize the people's thinking, hearts, and expectations, it said. A person who works at a leading Chinese news website said the rules issued last week were the most strict yet. The website was told to post only stories about the trade conflict by state news agencies in Hua, rather than publishing its own. It was also ordered to keep the topic out of the top few headlines and closely manage comments about it, according to the source. It was not immediately known if Beijing's attitude would change after the United States threatened further import duties on Chinese goods on Tuesday in a sharp escalation of the conflict between the world's two biggest economies. In recent weeks, state media have criticized U.S. behavior as reckless, hegemonic, delusional, and accused the Trump administration of harboring bloodlust and behaving like a gang of hoodlums. Revealing cards but the attacks have been general, there has been little mention of Trump, for instance, and few details on how China will be affected. Two sources at separate state-run news organizations said they had been instructed not to mention the impact of the trade war on Chinese companies in their coverage. At one large state news organization, a fourth source said journalists had been instructed to report on Chinese company news with caution because some were already feeling the effects of the trade spat. Reporters at the news outlet, a key government mouthpiece, were directed not to stir up negative emotions or reveal the cards of Chinese importers, the source said. They know the seriousness of the situation and the possible consequences, and they don't want the media coverage to bring any kind of extra damage, said Li Zijin, a professor in the Department of Media and Communications at City University of Hong Kong. Later, as the situation gets worse, if the people are actually affected with their jobs, with prices, that may become real anger, and if the media do anything to stir up that kind of anger it will cause some kind of very bad consequences. To do something to harm American firms that are already operating in China would be very stupid.